listeners, welcome to our Freeze Concept TV headline. Nam Dekanu's release will stop seats at home in Southeast Ekba. Simon Ekba, a popular Biafran agitator and separatist, has said the release of Nam Dekanu, the leader of the people of Biafra, will stop seats at home order in the Southeast. Ekba Ifiland Bay is the lawyer and prime minister of the Biafran Republic government in exile, disclosed, his, disclosed this on Monday. His reaction comes in response to the national president of Ohanese Youth, Mazioko Nabike's statement on Kanu's release and, and sit at home order. According to him, the only thing that can stop the, act, the civic action of sit at home in Southeast region is the release of Namdi Kanu. The historic sit at home has kicked off today. Nothing can stop it unless Mazi Namdi Kanu is released today, Monday. He stated that Ohanese failed, failed to achieve significant influence on the 2023 presidential election, which saw the emergency of Bola Tunumbu as president. He added that Ndibo should not support leaders who cannot speak the truth to power. Ohanese begged, bragged that if Ibo didn't get the presidential ticket from PDP or APC, Nigeria would break up and that and that voting Tunumbu would bring war. But today, the Ohanese are calling on Ndibo to support Tunumbu, people that act like that have lost their monetary to speak for interest of Ndibo. Leaders who change their principle according to who they meet are not worthy of being called leaders, he wrote. Simon Ekba, a popular Biafran agitator and separatist, has said the release of Namdi Khan, the leader of the people of Biafra, to stop seats at home order in the southeast. Ekba Ifiland Bay is the lawyer and prime minister of the Biafran Republic government in exile, disclosed, his, disclosed this on Monday. His reaction comes in response to the national president of Ohanese Youth, Mazioko Nabike's statement on Kanu's release and, and sit at home order. According to him, the only thing that can stop the, act, the civic action of sit at home in Southeast region is the release of Namdi Kanu. The historic sit at home has kicked off today. Nothing can stop it unless Mazi Namdi Kanu is released today, Monday. He stated that Ohanese failed, failed to achieve significant influence on the 2023 presidential election, which saw the emergency of Bola Tunumbu as president. He added that Ndibo should not support leaders who cannot speak the truth to power. Ohanese begged, bragged that if Ibo didn't get the presidential ticket from PDP or APC, Nigeria would break up and that, and that voting Tunumbu would bring war. But today, the Ohanese are calling on Ndibo to support Tunumbu, people that act like that have lost their monetary to speak for interest of Ndibo. Leaders who change their principle according to who they meet are not worthy of being called leaders, he wrote. All right, viewers, you have listened to today's news. Now, Simon Ekpa is saying that the only way that they can remove seats at home in the southeast is when Namdi Kanu is released. Um... We all know that releasing Mazi Namdi Khan will not be easy. Even when the court, during Buari tenure, when the court ordered his release, Buari refused to listen, to release him. He was still dirty now. So now telling Tunumbu to release him will take a whole lot of work to release him. Now I feel this seat at home, they should scrap it off. They should remove it. While they are still working on it, they should, people should go back to their normal day-to-day -day activities, to their businesses. While others are doing the work behind the scenes to get Muslim they can release, keeping people at home, how does he help? You are only trying to cripple the system, the, 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 the Southeast um, economic system. You are only trying to cripple it. Saying that, they should stay at home because Mas is I don't I don't see how that helped Mazinam the Khan. It didn't help. It only brought bad name to South East. It only brought people to start saying all manner of things to Ndibo. And once that you are in Finland giving this order. You I don't know why you don't want to come to Nigeria. I don't know what is going on. But you are in Finland giving this order and people are suffering people don't people are trying to survive now the sit at home you're saying that the only way you can only stop is until when they release Mazinam Dikan. Do you know when they are going to release him? 
in as much as people are really trying doing their own part to see that Mazdam the Kano is being released, do you know when they will release him? And you are in Finland with your family, why people are here in Nigeria suffering. The economy is bad. A lot of things have gone haywire. They are trying to manage to survive in this country. The least you could do is to create a system where people can survive. Not to add salt to an injury. Why would Prof. Nandekadu be released? There is no need doing sit at home. People should go back to their normal businesses and let others sort the work. Let them keep on talking to Tunumbu, doing what they need to do to get Mazambi Khan released. Sit at home will not help. Did it help? No, it didn't help. You only suffer the people. You only suffer the masses. Sit at home never helped the situation. It only worsened it and gave, and gave the evil bad names. And you had people say you are in Finland, giving another king, you cannot come to Nigeria, you cannot. People are just, I don't understand. Doesn't work like that. Now he's saying now um um Ekpa made mention of um that Ohaneze said during the presidential campaign that um if PDP or APC win that they are going to create war and um, they will not support the system. Now that they want to start coming back to say that um Nigerians Ndibo should support whoever is the winner, should support Tunumbu to make the system work, to make any call, whatever, whatever they want think to work. Now, my own is that the fact of the war, I do not support war. Nobody wants to see war. If you ask those that were born during the war regime, they will tell you their experiences. They will tell you war is not something we pray for. But now, saying that, you see, I do, I do tell people before you talk, think. Now they have say what they want to say. Simon Epana is not dragging you after you have promised. Who asked you to talk? Who sent you to say all the things you were saying? Who asked you? That's how people go and talk and put yourself in big trouble. Who sent you? Who asked you? Said eh, they did not win. This is this is it. You don't know that people will always remind you and say, Oga, you were the one that said this thing. We are bring we are we are we are giving you back your words. You want you are the one the one knows of making me come. You are the one that said it. Now Simon Ekpa um, Simon Ekpa and I had to bring that. You people are the one, you people are not fit to be to me, what they said was even wrong. Never make decision or promises when you are high, when you are happy, when you are angry. Never make decisions during those periods. You might make so it's just that you could never keep and just spoil your name. Imagine. Alright, viewers, we have come to today's news. Please do well to put the comment section. Let us know what your views are. Thank you for listening.